thumb still needs doing. But the new finger form. I say I do like. And the addition now is going to knuckle caps. So the finger flexes. Got to do a little trimming to fit in here. And then some kind of spring mechanism. And the whole thing's got to move smoothly, so, you know. Not out of the woods yet. But it'll really finish the way it looks. Complete redesign of the inside of the hand, of the palm. Yeah, not sure it's optimal, but it fits. Ooh. So now the whole thing. <laughs> We're going to do that. Thumb still to be done, and this section. Is the old shell and that has only served now to give a guide for the perimeter which would look okay you can just see these patches where it's breaking through the skin the shell is only a millimeter thick so they kind of work out like contour lines and that's the best I could manage 0.1 clearance, so ends up about 0.3. Third of the mill, enough to run a piece of metal, high conductive metal between them if it comes to it. Um, a fan would be a good idea. Bit ugly, just has to kind of be boshed on. So I will see how much that can be disguised when the proper structure is designed. And that's the forearm. So the wrist has not been revised with a bit of tidying up, changing to doing here. Back end of the hand's going to be fairly technical. Might incorporate some shot loading for the wrist. So if the whole thing's dropped, there's somewhere for that to go. Um, want to be able to chuck this one around. Want to be able to pick up hammers. So it's uh, it's got to be strong. So, that's where V2 is at, 24th of March.